Howdy guys, welcome back to Franbo Chapter 1. Picking up where we left off, we now have the hook, the paper, the crayon, the sash, and the photo in our inventory. If you don't know how to get any of these items, just refer back to my first video. And proceeding on with the game, we have to now go to the kitchen and... Next thing to do is grab one of these, what do you call these, uh, cinnamon buns. So get one of those for your inventory and then talk to... I don't think we have to talk to anybody else just yet, but do proceed to the left and talk to this kid eating right here. And there is something so disturbing about this kid eating. If you just listen to the smacking noises he makes, listen to this. It's, it's pretty bad, actually. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is pretty bad. Just take my word for it. So we talked to him, and he says, don't disturb me. Go away. I am eating. So what you actually want to do is talk to his cane right here. And he says, don't touch my sword. I didn't know it was yours. You should bow and speak clearly to me. I'm your king. So let's just play along with him for now and say, I bow to you. Very well, my child. What is the purpose of your visit? I want your cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. What would you give me in exchange? So right here, say anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then will I grant you my sword. So refer back to the bathroom when you take a look at the window through your terror vision. And it says the king likes drawing. So that's a pretty good hint what to do next. Click on the paper, press combine, and go to the crown. That's going to give you a drawing of a horse and a castle. And hey, look, we throw in a tree too. <laughs> so select that, go to use, give it to the king, and our sword is now available. Excuse me, cane. Oh, that's beautiful. Exactly what I dreamed of. Okay. You can take my sword now. It's yours. So the next thing to do, let me proceed back to the kitchen. And yes, she's sitting right there. So talk to this little girl. I think her name is Annie or Anne. Hey, Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No, why would I be? Because I can do magical tricks and make you sleepy. So how do I, uh, let's see here. What do I say? I didn't know you could show you, but it's very scary. It's better if you do it. I can't. I'm not a magician. I can give you the magical gift. Okay. So the magical gift is actually going to be a sleeping pill, which is pretty obvious what to do here. Here, take it as a gift. Take it slowly. So what we have to do is we have to try to get the, the guard to eat this thing. So... There's actually two different ways you can go about doing this, but I'll talk about both of them. Just combine this with the sleeping medication, and it's going to turn into a magical cake now. And then go back to the guard, talk to him, try to get him to eat it. And there is actually two scenarios you can come across with this guy trying to have him eat this. First and foremost, it is possible to get him to eat this, which I'll tell you which options. I'm not going to go that way because I want to do the other option. But both of them are viable options to proceed the storyline in this game. I think not having them eat it is the better option, though. And I don't think it changes anything. But if you say a cake, eat it, and then continue down that line of questions and answers, it is possible to get them to eat it. But just go, a cake, I brought this for you. I don't want any trouble, so I brought you this cake. I'm not interested in taking anything from the likes of you. Again, say you'll regret it, and then one more question and he will end up finally eating it. I don't care about making my life sweeter. Now leave. You don't want it? No. Now leave me alone. Okay, now that that's done, let's proceed back into the kitchen. And hopefully this unlocks a new scene for us. Good, 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 good. I told Marcel about the latest delivery, but he hasn't looked at it yet. Well, he will catch up soon. Hey, Gladys, would you do me a favor? Sure. Anything but bring coffee to the guard. Why not? I can't do it because I have to take, because I have to take care of the children. I have other things to do myself. Sorry. So now that that's done, we have access to grab this coffee cup. And what you would think to try to do is to take the bun and kind of a 
combine it with the the coffee but it says I should not ruin the perfect coffee so what you actually have to do is just go give him the coffee so go back to the guard and open up your inventory go to coffee use and uh, yeah here's your hot 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 coffee sir <laughs> and she just throws it at him like I said Fran's a badass she is not taking shit from this guy so that I think in my opinion is the better option because this guy's a total ass look what you did you insane orphan bitch you did that on purpose now I have to go and change guy it's burning like hell don't go anywhere you little shit look at Franny's smug expression <laughs> so uh yeah just pick the other options if you do want to give him the the uh the cinnamon bun with the sleeping medicine on it and if you do do that he just sleeps in the chair and you're able to grab the keys and then to grab the keys, just click on the cane or the hook and combine it with the sash. It doesn't matter which order you do it in. Um, just make sure they all get combined. And then use this on the keys right up here. Perfect, perfect. And then use these on the door right over here. And that's going to get us in the office, finally. So what you want to do is grab these keys right here. And then once you try to leave, wait a second, did I do something wrong? What did I do wrong here? Let me go back in here. Okay, so let me enter horror vision right here. Okay, and Franny's on the bed right here. There's not much to do with her. She says, oh, that dead girl looks a bit like me. Well, I'm sedated and I see weird stuff, but I am not dead. And then talk to this guy, even though your eyes are open, you can't understand... Oh, that's what I'm missing. Okay, talk to the board right here. And there's a couple things to look at, but most importantly, you want to grab this note right here. More on that in just a second. So now that that's done, try to leave the room, and this little shit's going to block you. Phil, a forgotten girl with no family or cat, will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? So yeah, he locks us in here, and Fran's like, oh shit. Ah, Phil, let me out of here. And then she says, I shouldn't scream. If they find me in here, I am in big trouble. So next thing to do, go back into Horror Vision and take a look down here. This little vent. A skeleton hand is going to open it for you. So let's do a solid Fran creeping around in the air duct. Oh, the wind hole. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. So keep walking, keep walking, and then a rat's going to fall right here. Oh, that rat really hit his head. I should get it a helmet. So the next thing to do is we have to find a helmet for this rat. I'm just kidding. We don't actually have to do that. <laughs> so just keep walking, and then eventually you're going to fall down this hole. There's no avoiding it, but that is the way you have to go. Okay, so now we are in the basement. And there's a couple things to do, I think. Let me see the mop. That does nothing. Um, let me talk to everything. Make sure I'm not missing anything. No water to wash my hands. Okay, go down to this uh, box right here. Take off the blanket. Go inside and take a look at all of this stuff. Yellow pills, huh? They look more like the red ones. Excuse me. They look more fun than the red ones. Bad pills. I have to take them to find Kitty. And then there's some gloves. But then there's also some paperwork here. Take a look at this patient number. This is actually the same patient number as Franz, I think. I'm not 100% sure. I'll go back and check. But I think that's the same as Franz. When you look at her patient board in her room, and it says, this is our target. Target response is positive. Now expanding the triggered glands. Ectoplasm. Excuse me. <laughs> Ectoplom. I said ectoplasm. <laughs> Doses up to 1,700 uh, micrograms. Change the container so it looks like an approved variant of duotine. Okay. So now that that's done, am I missing? I don't think I'm missing anything. So go up these stairs and then just use the key on this door right here. If you struggle, you will know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. 
If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. So after that cutscene, oh, there's a little bit of dialogue here, so uh, let me just let this play out. Okay, now that that scene is done, all you have to do is just go back to the same door and try to get out of here. And you saw that uh, her cat, uh, Mr. Midnight, is in a maze. So once we get out of this place, we're going to try to find a maze. And then let me take a look in these rooms. What does it say? The operating room? I don't want to go inside. God damn, clean your operating room. That cannot be sanitary. And then nothing else really here. I don't think we have to do anything with the operating room. So... Oh my god, that is just awful. That is one of the worst things I've seen. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, I hate it. Okay, look in this room. And right here it says I-T-W-A-R-D, it word, it word, whatever it means. But uh, I guess just keep that name in mind for now. It doesn't serve really any importance yet, but just remember that name. And then go over to this window, take a look in here, and... I don't think there's anything else to do here, so just leave this room and proceed up these stairs right here. Yes, I took the new ones upstairs. Franbo? No, I haven't seen her. What? The key to the cellar? Well, no. And the doctor's office? He used to have the key there. Calm down, the key is not here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I'll bring it to you if I find it. All right. Bye. So what you have to do right here is it can be a little bit tricky, but go into your terror mode, horror mode, and now that she's gone because you're in this this reality, you can go put the key where it's supposed to be. But I haven't I haven't tried this, but I don't really know what happens if you go back to normal mode right here, because the nurse would probably see you. But you know what? I don't want to mess with it because that's probably going to take me back to my room. I'll probably get in trouble. And for the love of God, do not look under this blanket. It's the most horrible thing you can imagine. I don't even want to show it off. But uh, go back to normal mode. You can be behind her. Just get out of it. And then she says, oh, the key. It was here after all. I better take it back. Okay, now, right here is the hardest puzzle of Chapter 1. What you have to do, you have to punch in a code, it's right up here, enter four digits, and the hint is going to be from the paper you grab from the office. So take a look at the paper. It says, turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm reactivates. Then it says, alarm code, December 17th equals whatever, and July 25th equals, again, it's scratched out, you can't read it. But what you actually have to do is just take December, which it's the 12th month in the year. So it's going to be 12 plus 17 for the first two digits. So what is 12 plus 17? 29, 30, 31? Did I do that right? I'm sorry, I'm drawing a, I'm drawing a blank right now. Yeah, 12 plus 17 is uh, 30, 20, 29. Why, why can't I think right now? Oh my god, 29. And then 7 plus 25, that's going to be 30, 35, 29, 35. What am I missing? I'm sorry. I'm just, my, my brain is dead right now. So take a look at this. I, I must have just read it wrong. So let me go to examine. Yeah, 12 plus 17 is 29. 7 plus 5, that's 32. So 29, 32. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking. 29, 32. Perfect. Now... If you read this note, it says, well, the note's gone now, but it says you have two minutes to get out of here before the alarm reactivates. I've never actually tried it. I don't know what happens if you wait around. 
but I'm not about to try it right now, so let's just get out of here. You little bitch! I will make you pay for what you did. You clever little girl, do you think you can just leave? What? what? No, no, it can't, can't be. be. No! So yeah, this little guy to the rescue he actually saves our ass right here. So that wasn't actually real. The guard's still okay. He didn't get his head torn off. That was just part of our hallucination. So we are finally out of here. Thank God. And we, as far as I know, never have to go back to the insane Asylum. Or the mental hospital, whatever you want to call it. So keep going to the left and follow this cat into this maze. And this part, it's, uh, I mean, it's easy, but it's a little bit, a little bit different. You just have to follow this cat around and get to the end of the maze. And listen to the music that's playing too. It's, it's like so out of character for this game. But, uh, just keep following him. You don't have to stay right behind him. Just, uh, make sure you don't lose him or make sure you can still hear him. You can kind of hear his little gears turning. But um, just make sure you don't run into any shadows. There's going to be shadows walking back and forth. So just keep an eye out for them. And I tried touching one of the shadows just to see what would happen. And it actually does not kill you. It just sends you back to the beginning of the maze. So no problem. You don't have to worry about it. And uh, let me wait for this guy. I don't want to risk it. Uh, which way do I go? I've already lost the cat. <laughs> But I think I go... Let's go this way and loop back to the right. Uh, this looks right. Let me go down here. Nope. Dead end. <laughs> uh, I would have practiced off screen, but there's no save points. You know, you don't get to save. It saves automatically, so... Uh, that does make recording a little bit of an issue. Just in case I mess anything up, but that's fine. So I think I'm going the right way. Let's loop back to the bottom and then go back up right. But let me wait for this guy to pass. I think he's going to go back. Yes, he is. So I'll wait for this guy. And as for everything in our inventory, I think we pretty much used up everything. Now, we do keep the crayon for Chapter 2, and it does serve a very small purpose, which I'll talk about when we get there. But where am I going? Do I go this way? Or is this a dead end? No, I think I'm on the right track. We'll keep going this way. But yeah, we uh, everything in the inventory is gone. We I don't think we ever got a chance to use that uh, cinnamon bun with the sleeping pills on it. But um, it just disappears from our inventory. We could have used it, but it just disappears pretty much. So come in this little cave down here and wait for this guy to pass, and then go up into excuse me this tunnel. Uh, sorry about that feedback there. I hope I didn't blow anybody's eardrums out. Okay, so this is the end of Chapter 1. And uh, this is exactly where we pick up on Chapter 2. Now, for Chapter 2, it's a little bit longer. And in my opinion, it's much more enjoyable than Chapter 1. It's not as horror, but it's, it's much better. The storyline starts getting really, really good. But it's longer, so what I'll do is I'll probably split up Chapter 3 into three different videos, but I'm probably going to post these daily. I'm really into this game, and there's five chapters, so i got a lot of stuff to do. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and thank you for watching.